Hello, thanks for watching this video again. Welcome back on my channel. Uh, I've been really busy uh, those last uh, weeks, but uh, anyway, I have so many things to discuss about uh, uh, some uh, shooting that I made and uh, pictures that I took with uh, funny lenses, uh, AIS lenses and so on. But I wanted to show you something today that um, impressed me, in fact, because I shared a picture on the Instagram and a friend of mine nearly instantaneously wrote me a message telling me I want this, I want to purchase, I want to buy you this picture, I want to have a print of it. And I said, wow, uh, really thanks. So, of course, this is one part of my job is that I uh, uh, make some uh, fine art uh, print of my uh, picture so um, you can order them you can check my uh, Instagram or and see if you find a, a picture that you like and you can um, ask me uh, to to make a fine art print of it of course but I was impressed but because this picture let, let me show you this picture right now look at this just wait a little bit here we go look at that this picture was made with a with a d700 you know back in those days very it's old camera so here is the d3s and the d700 is from the same generation of a 12 megapixel sensor and i was in milan in italy um during the the week of uh, the design week and uh, in the streets you had a lot of uh, product design stores that were opened and uh, the, the, all the, the town of Milan is uh, living to the, the rhythm of the design during one week and I passed through in, in front of a store uh, I had the D700 with me hanging with, I think it was a 24 to 70 uh, zoom lens. And uh, oh my god, I saw these two ladies uh, set here in a symmetrical position. All is symmetrical in this uh, store. And uh, instantaneously, I took my camera and made this picture. So, this picture is from 2010. And uh, this person on the Instagram is a—it's a person I know because we discuss a lot, but I, I never met him. And he said, "Well, I, I want this picture. Please make a print of it." So here it is. The print is done on an A2 format, and uh, it will leave uh, my uh, my house. Uh, I think next week. The, just the time for me to find uh, something to, to to put it inside for the transport. But the good thing, the funny thing about this uh, print is that at, at this time, I didn't shoot in RAW. Uh, I was shooting in JPEG. Or maybe I shoot in RAW, but I lost the RAW file of this picture. So the only that I have is the JPEG file, which has uh, plenty detail, apparently, because this is printed on a... Uh, let me make... Uh, I'm not sure it can focus so close this uh let let's check this if it can focus come on come on lumix oh shit lumix lumix trying to make video <laughs> forget forget about lumix with video yes i am here okay look look all the details look all the details you have in the in the in the two ladies the furniture the, uh, here's a the detail also on, on the wall and so on the guy at the back uh, where is the guy here at the back the black panther you see yes all is in focus and uh, with many details and so on yeah but believe me i lost i lost my uh raw file come on yes and the JPEG I have is something like three megabytes only, not not even three megabytes. And look, I'm able to print on A2 format with this. So what what I want to say is that you you don't need the last one. You don't need the Z9, the Z72, the 
whatever you don't need. What you need is uh, creativity. You need to have a reliable camera that is responsive and as soon as you take it, you grab it and you want to take a picture, you have an answer and it takes a picture at this moment. Not a camera that you need to, when you switch it on, you switch it on, you need to wait two seconds because before it, it wakes up. No, you need a camera that is reliable. And honestly, the D700, if you are asking to uh, and wondering how to get into the full frame uh, Nikon uh, camera with a uh, reliable camera, really don't hesitate. D700, you take, you can have also the, the bottom grip. Uh, if you take the PD key one uh, with uh, the, this battery inside, the, the, the big battery from the, the, the D3, uh, then with this uh, D700, you can have uh, something like nine frames per second or eight frames, I don't know. So you are really close to what the D3S does. Um, and yes, honestly, this camera is really responsive. The autofocus is the same as the D3, D3S and D3X. So um, honestly, don't hesitate. It's a, it's a, well, this is the proof. This is the proof. It's a 10 more, uh, it was in 2010. So it's a 12 years old uh, picture. And it only weights three megabytes on my computer only JPEGs and look what the result is. It's just amazing. So um, don't look after the best, the last one and so on. Uh, the good thing is that right now you have so many good opportunities on the market because everybody is running for the uh, hybrid uh, mirrorless system and you can find a lot of used camera on the market there are, that are on very good condition. You have now D3, D3S and so on. These are very cheap, I think 500 euros, you can get both. D3X is a little bit more expensive because it has 24 megapixels. And I can tell you with the D3X, uh, which I have also, uh, these 24 megapixels are plenty, plenty enough to make really, really nice print and nice pictures. You have the DF also, which is which has a 16 megapixels with um, the sensor from the D4, the Nikon D4. Of course, you have all the Nikon D4, D4S, D5 is quite still a bit expensive. It starts to be at a higher, like, uh, nearly 2,500 euros. But the D4, D4S, D3S, D3X, D700, uh, DF, D810, D610. All those cameras are really able to make nice pictures. So don't hesitate, look back in the history and don't uh, uh, don't always look at the you know the last one uh, and you can see some videos uh, asking you will the Z9 make you a better photographer and blah blah blah. No. If you are not a good photographer, you will not be a good photographer with a Z9 ever. Um, and I see some people having a Z9 and um, Okay, they make picture that we couldn't have done with the uh, a former camera because of it's even more reactive and you can make some pictures for animals and so on with it. But the pictures has no interest. Okay, technically it's well done. The, the bird is sharp and yes, you are happy with it, but you will not print it and hang it on the wall. I mean, so to me, the, each time I, a good picture is something that I, if I ask myself, Will I put it on the wall? And if I ask yes, if I answer yes, it's it's a good picture for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, uh, it is. So uh, really, uh, look at these cameras and look also at these uh, AIS lenses. And even better than that, if you want uh, uh, maybe sharper lenses or autofocus. As people are migrating to the Z-mount and the uh, S uh, lens, Z lens from uh, Nikon. You can find also a lot of uh, G, uh, no, F mount, sorry, F mount lenses on the market, on the used market at very good price. So, prime lenses like a 20 millimeter F1.8, you can have it at 400 euros. Um, 50 millimeter from uh, uh, Sigma. 
35 from Tamron, uh, 24 to 70 VR. The good point is that the 24 to 70 VR has a VR and the uh, reflex um, uh, do not have VR. Uh, they don't have uh, EBIS. Um, when I say reflex, I mean uh, uh, these, these cameras with the uh, DSLR, what we call DSLR, they don't have IBIS inside. So if you find lenses that have VR, you you will be um, able to take some pictures in uh, tough conditions where you need a low shutter speed and the VR will compensate your uh, manual vibration. So uh, yes, you, you can find a lot of lenses, F-mount lenses that are very interesting now at good price on the used market. Uh, and with these lenses, you, you can uh, achieve some really good result and don't look always for the last one you know I, I, one at once I, I thought that maybe we go for the z9 but um, for now and before many years I, I i won't go for for the z9 first i don't succeed to sell my s1r from lumix because uh, panasonic has a strange politic policy of um uh, mark making uh, promotion on the new uh, product so it kills the market of the second end so uh, s1r is uh, 1500 euro today and uh, i'm not really ready to sell it for this uh, slow uh, amount of money so i keep it and it, it i will uh, I use it sometimes with the the 35 millimeter from uh, sigma the 1.2 so um, i will not say it but coming back to Nikon, you can also check these uh, AIS lenses. This one is a uh, 20 millimeter. I mean, it's it's just amazing. I will show you pictures also uh, taken with it in a new video. 20 millimeter, so a 21 f uh, 3.5. Yes, 3.5, 20 millimeter. Look at how small this is, and it's a uh, very easy to handle manually you don't have it's not like uh, you know some leica m lenses you need to to apply some strength to to turn the focus ring here it's really really uh, easy to to turn easy easy to to focus this one is a 28 millimeter f 2.8 ais superb lenses i made also a picture that i will make a video about this one this one is a 35 1.4. Honestly, okay, I, I got it not for a huge amount, but honestly, at 1.4, uh, I have to admit that uh, it's not on par with what we have today, or or even a Tamron 35 or Sigma or or uh, Nikon. But as soon as you close it a little bit, uh, 2.8, it works. It works fine. But uh, well, you, you, it's I can't tell you it's 1.4 because at 1.4 the, the the focus is really really soft. It's not not a good lens. I'm not re really happy with it. But and this one is a 51.2, and this one is amazing also. And I think I will make a videos uh, talking about these AIS lenses and pictures I made with them. So ask me if you want if you feel. Uh, uh, if you think it's interesting that I make videos about each lenses and pictures using the D3S or the D3X or the DF, which I have also. So, uh, yes, I'm this uh, guy with uh, old camera now, and I have these uh, 12 megapixels, uh, 16 on the DF, the 24 on D3X, maybe 36 megapixels on the D810 later. But, yeah, it was just to share with you of my, my feeling of uh, and my advice that you don't need to get uh, the last generation camera to make nice picture that you can sell. You can print it and you can sell to customers. With uh, 12 megapixels and a JPEG of 3 megabytes, look what you can get. So, don't hesitate to comment. Tell me what, what, what's your position about this? What, what do you think? What camera do you use? And, uh, are you um, uh, running for the last one or are you happy with um, former cameras? And honestly, uh, I tell you that in the same time, I know that um, the more uh, people know that the old cameras are good, uh, the less we will be able to find on the second market. But uh, uh, I share my, um, my experience with you and uh, 
I hope it's, it will be uh, helpful for you and you, you will get some time uh, uh, your hand on these old cameras that are just amazing in terms of uh, picture quality and so on. For sure the new one are better but uh, already you can make some very very nice pictures with these cameras. So comment below of course like if you like it subscribe and give me uh, some strengths on my channel i would appreciate a lot thank you so much goodbye